What's up, y'all? It's your boy JB, shot by JB on all platforms. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you could take your iPhone footage from looking like this to looking like this. It only took a couple steps. Um, I'm, I am going to share my screen and I'm going to show you step by step how I personally color graded it. And um, yeah, for all my Samsung users out there, I apologize. I don't have a Samsung, so iPhone footage is the only thing I could do. But I'm pretty sure. Um, it is similar steps. You just got to find the right file name and decoding process. You'll see. Um, also, the, the editing software that I'm using today is going to be DaVinci Resolve. Um, that's just what I personally use. But again, if you're using any other editing software, you can find the similar steps into color grading your footage. Okay, so without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Um, go go ahead and share my screen so once you dive into uh, DaVinci Resolve the first thing you're going to do is obviously import your footage um, into the timeline so that's what I went ahead and did this is the clips that we're going to be using or the clip that we're going to be using today um, and this clip I went ahead and already graded it so that's the result we're going to be looking for okay so once you get your clip selected, you're going to go ahead into your color tab or color grade tab. And um, what I do when I'm in here is I create three nodes with the clip that I want to grade. So let's go ahead and do that. Created three nodes. Um, and once you have these three nodes created, the first thing I do is I hop into the second node. With this second node, I um, go ahead and put a color space transform into it. And you could get the color trans color space transform by hitting um, the effects tab and you'll see it. And you just drag it right onto the second node. Now this right here is the most important part of the process. What you're gonna, you're gonna have to change the input color space, the input gamma, and you're also going to have to uh, change the input mapping method, right? So this is the this is the key right here, guys. This is the key that's going to take you from looking like a regular iPhone footage to being able to really color grade this. First thing you're going to do when it says input color space, you're going to change this to... rec point 2100 it's the first thing you're gonna do second step is where it says input gamma you're going to change this to um there we go rec 21 or rec point 2100 hlg those two things right there most important things in this process then when you go to gamma mapping method, you're going to change that to saturation compression. Those are the three main components in which you have to do in color grading this footage. Next step after that is you go to your third node. And in this third node is where I like to place um, a LUT pack on it. So today we're going to use you can use any LUT, it's up to your discretion, whatever you decide to choose, it's all 100% up to you. Uh, I will be choosing... Um, let's go with this one right here. So once that's chosen, you could definitely see the difference from where we first started. This is it flat, this is it with all the changes that we just made. Huge difference. Um, then from here what i'll do is i'll go to the first node and this is where i'll change all my highlights and lift and saturations again this is all per clip how it was shot how it was lit um this is all due to your discretion so do not follow what i'm doing exactly just take this and implement it with your own footage and to your liking especially when it comes to luts and, and, and things of that nature so for me, I might bring it down the lift. Um, I might bring down the gain. 
I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more saturation. Let's bump that up to about there. Um, give it a little bit of contrast. And again, this is up to your personal discretion, but you know, whatever is to your liking, I'm doing obviously doing a rush job right now just to give you an idea of what you can do with simple i i phone footage um yeah so this is a quick before and after oh, of what we actually accomplished we definitely went from this to this with just a few steps and yeah um that's pretty much it like now you have graded iphone footage obviously if i spend a little bit more time i can get this fine-tuned exactly how i want it but i just want to come on here and show you guys how i color graded iphone footage and um yeah hopefully you learned something from this hopefully you could take this and apply it in your everyday life so it's not an excuse on what camera you have or what equipment you have you just have to have the knowledge and i hopefully i provide a little bit of that knowledge today all right till next time see you guys